How to Start an LLC in Colorado Has the time come to finally make your business dream into a reality? Are you looking into the many different business entities out there to see which is best for you? The Limited Liability Company LLC structure is a popular one. Note, Colorado has temporarily lowered the filing fees for LLCs to $1. The cost of filing articles of organization for a Colorado LLC had been $50. The department estimates this relief will last until June 30, 2023. Something to keep in mind. If you're looking to start an LLC in Colorado, then you should know that this guide is for forming a domestic, for-profit LLC. If you're looking to start a foreign, out-of-state, LLC, then you'll need to check in with the Colorado SOS. The website has a guide that walks you through that process as well. Step 1. Name your Colorado LLC. Your first step is to decide on a name for your Colorado LLC. Colorado LLC Naming Rules. The name must be distinguishable from other business names that the state already has on record. The name must include one of the following phrases or abbreviations. The SOS website points out that capitalization doesn't matter, but punctuation does. If you want to include a character in your name like a number or symbol, then you'll need to refer to the SOS page of acceptable characters. Reserving your Colorado LLC's name. If all looks good and the name you want for your LLC is available, then you should definitely consider reserving it in the meantime while getting your business set up. This form can only be filed electronically and will reserve your name for 120 days. Federal and State Trademarks If you decide to move forward, then you'll need to file a Statement of Registration of Trademark form with the SOS. The trademark is good for five years and can be renewed. If you want to file a trademark at the federal level, then visit the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office website for more information. Is your LLC name available as a web domain? We already went over this before, but we want to really push the importance of having a domain name that closely matches your LLC's name. That way, people will find it easier to locate your website in a simple online search. As always, check out our domain name search tool to see if the domain name you want is available. Filing for a trade name in Colorado. In Colorado, you can file for a trade name if you'd rather operate under a name different from the business's true name. This name is sometimes referred to as a doing business as DBA name. The state requires for-profit LLCs to file a trade name if the entity plans to do business under a different name. You'll need to file a statement of trade name of a reporting entity form with the SOS. Step 2. Appoint a registered agent in Colorado. You'll need to choose a registered agent for your Colorado business. A registered agent is a person or entity that's tasked with receiving important documents, like service of process, on behalf of your business. In Colorado, this agent must have a physical address. Who can be a registered agent in Colorado? As we mentioned above, in Colorado, this agent can be either a person or an entity, like a business. There are some requirements to consider. If appointing an individual, this person must be over 18 years old and have a primary residence in Colorado. If appointing an entity, it must have a place of business in Colorado. What happens if I don't maintain a registered agent? Missing critical information for a lawsuit. If your LLC is sued and no registered agent is available to receive this notice on your behalf, then this can result in legal troubles down the road. Losing a good standing designation with the state. An LLC that follows all rules is known to be in good standing. Without a registered agent in place, you can lose this designation, which can negatively impact your business's image. Having your business labeled as delinquent. Heavy fines and penalties for both the business and maybe even you, the owner. Can I be my own registered agent? 
You must be at your registered address during normal business hours. This makes it harder to run errands, meet with customers, go on vacation, etc. If the LLC is sued, then having papers served in front of your customers and clients can be a very bad look. Having someone else serve as your registered agent may be the best option. Zen Business can provide your registered agent. Since having a registered agent for your Colorado LLC ensures that it remains compliant, you won't have to worry about falling out of compliance with the state. Perhaps the biggest perk of using our registered agent service is not having to take on the responsibilities of this agent yourself. You'll be free to meet clients, run errands, and more without being tied to the office during normal business hours. Step 3. File Colorado Articles of Organization File your Articles of Organization with the Colorado Secretary of State. If all looks good and the SOS approves your articles, then your LLC will become official. The filing cost is $50 and can only be done online through the SOS website. Information to include in your Colorado Articles of Organization The LLC's name The LLC's principal office address The LLC's mailing address can be the same as the physical address the registered agent's name along with the agent's physical address, mailing address, consent to being your registered agent, confirmation if the LLC will be member managed or manager managed, the name and address of the individuals forming the LLC, a delayed effective date if needed, the name and address of the individuals submitting the articles, Payment for filing. After filing the articles, the office of the SOS will provide you with an ID number. This is not an employer identification number, EIN. Member managed or manager managed. A member managed LLC involves the members participating in making decisions for the business. If a dispute arises, then a vote is typically taken. Other business-related matters may require unanimous consent. A manager-managed LLC involves one or more managers taking on the responsibility of decision-making instead of the members. A manager can be one of the members or an outsider. Single-member LLCs can be manager-managed as well. How to amend your articles of organization you'll need to submit an Articles of Amendment form that can only be filed online. The form itself is used to change the LLC's name, but there is an option to include additional documentation that needs to be amended. Be sure that all information is correct before submitting. Contact the SOS if you need help. Step 4. Create an Operating Agreement. The Benefits of Having a Colorado LLC Operating Agreement Setting rules for how the LLC will run as long as they don't involve anything illegal. Enhancing your LLC's liability status. Spelling out the roles of the individuals involved in the LLC. Deciding ownership percentages. Highlighting how voting will be conducted for business-related decisions. Further legitimizing the business by making it look more professional and planned out. Helping you get loans since some financial institutions may require an operating agreement. What to include in your Colorado LLC's operating agreement. The names of the owners and their ownership percentages. If the LLC will be member managed or manager managed, detailed in step 3 the duties of each member slash manager, how voting on business matters will be conducted, how profits will be distributed, directives on how new members will join the LLC, reasons and rules for removing a member slash manager, how ownership interests will be handled if a member leaves the LLC or retires, dies, etc. How the LLC will be taxed, more on this later. Reasons for and how to handle dissolving the business. 
Do I need an operating agreement if I'm the only owner? If you'll be the only owner of the LLC, then you may figure that an operating agreement isn't necessary. Besides, since it's only you, then you don't have to document the LLC's rules and other factors, right? Well, having an operating agreement even if you're the sole LLC owner can still be beneficial. In Step 4, we discuss the merits of having an operating agreement. Step 5. Apply for an EIN Your last step is to apply for an Employer Identification Number EIN, with the IRS. You're going to need an EIN for tax purposes if you plan on hiring employees and getting a business bank account. You can get an EIN through the IRS or with us. Register with the Colorado Department of Revenue. You'll need to register with the Department of Revenue for a state tax number. The website allows you to access important forms, apply for a sales tax license, file sales and retailer use tax, and more. When signing up, you'll need to include some information, like your EIN. Use your EIN to open a business bank account. You should consider having one of these accounts since they allow you to separate your business and personal finances. This can make organizing your taxes easier. Can filing as an S-Corp lower my taxes? LLCs are taxed as sole proprietorships if there's only one member or as a partnership if there are multiple members. LLCs are a very attractive business structure since they avoid double taxation. This means being taxed at the personal and business levels. With an LLC that has S-Corp status, you'll still avoid double taxation while potentially saving some money on self-employment taxes. You should know that an S-Corp designation does have some drawbacks. The IRS tends to keep a watchful eye on S-Corp, meaning that you may be at higher risk of an audit. The S-Corp status is also known to be very difficult to qualify for. If you already own an LLC and want to apply for S-Corp status, then you'll need to do that on your own. Speak with a tax specialist for more information. We can help, Zen Business. Now that you know how to start an LLC in Colorado, the time has come to make it happen. Our services provide long-term business support, allowing you to run your business how you want. We can also help you grow it. Focus on running your business while we take care of the rest. Are you ready to finally take the leap and launch the business you've been dreaming about? You're getting ready to form your own limited liability company or LLC. But wait, where do you start? Zen Business can easily guide you through the five legal steps of starting your LLC. Step 1. Select a great name for your LLC, one that no other business uses. Step 2. You must choose a registered agent to receive state correspondence and legal notices for you in person. Step 3. File your articles of organization. Once paperwork is approved and fees are collected, your LLC is official. Step 4. Create an operating agreement. This establishes the important rules for operating your company. And finally, Step 5. Apply for an employer identification number to open a bank account or hire employees. You may also need to review tax requirements. Feeling a little overwhelmed? Don't worry. Click the link in the description to let Zen Business quickly and easily form your LLC.